Danny, how are you? That's bad. Hi, we're at uh, Heathland School again. This is the um, second major test that we've been doing, and um, and Danny was very kindly come along here to, to help him with the rocket. So I just wonder what you've been doing today. Well, basically, with the car that's running, uh, we have three motors in a in a cluster, and getting the three motors to ignite at the same time has been the challenge that the school's been facing. So we've just come along to give them some advice and guidance, and also do some testing today to confirm that all three motors are igniting perfectly on the uh, on the fire command. And you did uh, two different types of rockets, was there, was there any reason for doing that? Yes, we actually fired two motors today. First of all, we did uh, two tests of the black powder motors that will actually be used for the record attempt, just to make sure that they ignite correctly. Uh, we did some high-speed video and confirmed that all three motors were igniting within less than a tenth of a second. We also brought along a composite motor to demonstrate, just so that the uh, folks here could see uh, the difference between the black powder and composite propellant motors. And you think from what you've seen, do you think they stand a good chance of getting close to their record? Yeah, I think based on the tests that they've already done and based on the uh, modifications that we've made here today, I think they stand an excellent chance of setting the record next Friday. So do you, do you think they've taken a very professional approach in terms of building the car and doing all the testing? Absolutely. They, they've uh, pursued this not as a one-off activity but as a programme over a, a number of months. They've done the R&D, they've done the testing and gradually worked up very much like Bloodhound will towards the final run, uh, which will take place on Friday. Fantastic. Look forward to seeing you next week, Daniel. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Thank you. So these produce very short uh, duration burst. That's short. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. So the problem with that <laughs> is basically the, the duration is, is too short. So a little pinch of black powder just extends the duration of the burn enough to light the uh, in light motor. Firing in three, two, one. In So we're still at uh, Heathland School and uh, I'm just wondering if you could introduce yourself and say why you were here. Yeah, I'm Chris Bucock and I've been advising uh, <coughs> Daniel on health and safety at the site that he's got in Buckinghamshire. Uh, and I've come down with him today, really have a look at what the school is doing, give them some reassurance that they're doing it right. Um, a lot of myths about health and safety, it has a bad name. People use it not to do things, whereas if it's done sensibly, it can be used as a great uh, enabler to get things done. A lot of people either choose to ignore obvious risks, some people choose to avoid every possible risk and not do things. Uh, what I've seen today, it's all been very sensible. The secret of successful health and safety is about sensible and proportionate risk management, making sure that precautions that you take are proportionate to, uh, to what could happen. 
it seemed to me very similar to the uh, to the rocket firing we did properly within within Bloodhound. Same sort of principles apply. A absolutely right. You know, I have to say that uh, uh, you know, good health and safety is not rocket science; it's common sense. <laughs> That's very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ian. Nice to see you. Thank you.